Gemini, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are all doing well. Gemini, this is going to be your February 2021 monthly love reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Gemini, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. Crystal Visions. Gemini, Spirit, Gemini. Wow. Wow, oh my God, you guys have two aces in this reading. Death is at the bottom. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. Or you have a big change coming in. Transformation. <laughs> Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or they have that in their chart because you are starting out with the Ace of Cups. Reconciliation. Meeting someone new. Listen, you got two aces here. Moving to a new home. You have the sun. Meeting someone new. Getting married. Getting divorced. But then you end up being stuck. I have a feeling some of you, why are you, uh, don't, you're thinking about going back to a Taurus? Uh, Capricorn? I don't know why I said Taurus. Capricorn? Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe a Leo. But this is definitely like... Happiness, contentment, things being balanced, fair. Traveling, moving in together. If you're single, you absolutely could meet someone new this month. But yet you still end up stuck. I think some of you are definitely... Worried about ending this relationship. For some of you, this definitely is a toxic relationship. Maybe a third party situation. Which would be Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Libra. Let me see. Let me use these. The after tarot. Regardless. Reconciliation. New love. Meeting someone new. You might not even be sure about this person. But I think you're going to definitely, definitely, both of them cards jumped out. That's what you're, you know, you're thinking about where someone else is. You definitely could be finding out the truth about something after waiting for so. We're going right to that hangman first. The hangman first. Okay, Gemini, are you waiting on a decision or are you making the decision? Because I kind of get the feeling that you are. That's your card. What else? There's spirit. I think you can't make up your mind. <laughs> that jumped. Okay, this person's probably definitely toxic. 
just a straight up asshole. If you're making a decision between this guy and a, and a Libra or, or let's see this Ace of Cups because that is your central issue. He don't care or you don't care with Gemini. Let's see the Ace of Cups please. One more on the orders of the five. These are only red in the upright. Oh my god, the devil again? And the page of pentacles. Some of you are definitely are dealing with a Capricorn. That really is toxic. One really one big asshole. You're definitely stuck on a decision as to whether to stay with this person or not. That's for some of you. Others of you, definitely a friend could be asking you out. Let me get another one on this Ace of Cups, please. Wow, the Two of Cups and that one wants to come. Unbelievable. All right, if you're whoever, if you're if you're with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or they have that in their chart right now, sorry, this person's definitely your soulmate. Whether if you're single, married, you're definitely getting out of a toxic relationship. I think you've already done that because this is in the past. You moved on to something uh, to a new beginning. What is the sun and justice going to bring? The five of cups. Some of you could be getting divorced, loss, regret, sadness. Some of you are definitely getting out of a toxic relationship. But I think if it's the water sign, which I, I do think if you're dealing with a water sign, that's toxic. In particular, a Scorpio. What else on the sun and justice? Oh, you're moving on. You have, you have this twice. Wow. You're ending exactly where you started. I, so you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Page of Pentacles. So those of you that are meeting someone new, this really could be potentially be a soulmate relationship. I do think it is, especially with this deck. You know, it's definitely spiritually meant to be. It could be a Leo. It could be a water sign, in particular a Scorpio. I think you're definitely getting away from a Capricorn. The devil twice. This is both a Gemini's energy. I think you've been stuck for a while, but you're finally bailing them for someone that's a soulmate. For those of you that are getting divorced, I definitely see you signing. Interesting reading, but a great reading. There's justice. Those of you that are wanting to get a divorce. Well, especially if you're a Gemini with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. That's happening. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, making a decision about a Capricorn, they're going. They're gone. You're starting over. You might even work with this person for some of you. Those of you that are coupled, you might have hit a rock, you know, a rocky patch. But I mean, come on, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups in this deck. Twice. Yeah, you guys will be fine. Really, those of you that are single, you guys definitely have the opportunity to meet your soulmate this month. Valentine's Day is coming up. Gosh, why can't I pick up this card? Um, who knows? You never know. 
get out and about. Even though the Three of Cups isn't here, but would it, would, would it have been the next card? Oh, King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's your Leo. Some of you, it's definitely a Leo. But if you're divorced, you're, those, those of you that are getting a divorce, you're definitely divorcing a Capricorn. Beautiful. I love it. If it didn't resonate, watch your other signs. And let me say welcome to the new subscribers. I know there's a lot of you. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. Take care and I will see you guys back here soon.